To start working with TypeScript, first we need to install TypeScript in our local machine or wherever we want to use TypeScript code. Now you might ask, when we use JavaScript, we don't need to install JavaScript. Then in order to use TypeScript, why do we need to install TypeScript? As I have mentioned in the last lecture, TypeScript code needs to be compiled to JavaScript in order to be executed in JavaScript environments like browser or Node.js. So when we install TypeScript, there we also install the TypeScript compiler, which will convert the TypeScript code to JavaScript. And it will also install everything else which TypeScript needs in order to work properly. So when we install TypeScript, it basically installs the TypeScript compiler and all other dependencies on which TypeScript depends on. Now, in order to install TypeScript, let's go to typescriptlang.org. So let's open browser. And there you need to go to typescriptlang.org. Once you are in this page, you can click on this download link. And here you can see how we can download TypeScript in our local machine. So if I scroll down, you can install TypeScript for your project. But what we want is we want to install TypeScript globally in our machine. So I'll scroll down again. And here we have the steps for global installation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install TypeScript using NPM. And for that, we can use this NPM command. When we run this NPM command from our local machine, it is going to install TypeScript globally. Now, in order to use this NPM command in our local machine, we also need to install Node.js. For that, you can go to nodejs.org and from there, you can install the latest version of Node.js. Now, why do we need Node.js here? That's because when we install Node.js in our machine, it also installs the Node Package Manager. And using that Node Package Manager, we can uninstall or install packages from NPM. Here, using Node Package Manager, we want to install TypeScript. So in order to use this NPM command, in order to use Node Package Manager, we need to have Node Package Manager installed in our local machine. And when we install Node.js, with that, the Node Package Manager also gets installed in our local machine. We don't have to do it separately. And that's why we need to install Node.js in our local machine. We are not going to work with Node.js, but we want to use Node Package Manager. And when we install Node.js, with that, the Node Package Manager also gets installed. So that's why we need to install Node.js also. So you can install the latest version of Node.js. Once you click on this button, it is going to download an installer. And once you double click on that installer, you can follow the installation steps in order to install Node.js and hence the Node Package Manager in your machine. The installation steps are very simple, but still, if you face any issues in installing Node.js, you can always refer Google and you will find many articles which will help you install Node.js in your machine. Now, once Node.js is installed in your machine, we should be able to use Node Package Manager. So what you can do is you can open command prompt if you are using Windows operating system or you can open terminal if you are using Mac operating system. And there you can simply type npm hyphen version. If I press enter, it will give you the version of npm which has been installed on your machine. And if you see this version, that means npm is installed on your machine. Now let's clear this terminal here. And now what we want is we want to install TypeScript using npm. So for that, let's go to typescriptlang.org and from there let's copy this command so the command is npm install hyphen g typescript basically using this npm install command we can install a package from npm and when we specify hyphen g that means we want to install that package globally now which package do we want to install here we want to install typescript so let's run this command by pressing enter and it is going to install TypeScript globally in this machine. As you can see, one package has been added. And with this, the TypeScript compiler is installed in our local machine. So now we can write TypeScript code and we can compile it to JavaScript code. To test that, let's open VS Code. And here I'm going to open our startup project. For that, 
let's go to the location of the startup project by clicking on this open folder button so in the desktop i have this folder typescript tutorial there i have another folder typescript basic so i'm going to open this folder let me close this welcome screen let's open this explorer so in here you can see i have two files index.html and style.css now you will find the link of this startup project in the description so you can download that startup project and you can start working with that so here i already have index.html and style.css so if i run this project for that i am going to go to view command palette and i want to run this project using live server so when i click here it is going to open this project in a live development server so as you can see the project has started in a live development server it is running on this IP address, this localhost IP address, and on this port number. Okay, let me close this tab and also this tab. All right, now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to resize this screen and I'm also going to resize this screen. So, okay, now what I'm also going to do is since we want to write some TypeScript code in this folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'll simply call it as app.ts. So for the TypeScript file, the extension is .ts. So any file which ends with this extension .ts, there we can write TypeScript code. Let's create this file. And here what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to write a console.log statement. So in TypeScript also, we have console.log statement. And there, I simply want to say, hello world. All right, let me close this explorer here. So here we can see the code. Now, here I'm going to open developer console. And let's move it to the bottom. Okay, let's scroll down. All right, let's create everything here. Now, in order to execute this code, first we need to compile it. Okay, so let me open the explorer here. Now, in order to compile this TypeScript file, we can do it from the terminal here in the VS code, or we can also do it in this command prompt. So for that, first we will have to move to the project folder. So in our case, if I go to desktop, there I have this folder TypeScript tutorial. In there, I have this another folder TypeScript basic. So we need to move to this folder. For that, in the command prompt, we can use cd command and we can specify the folder path. Now we are in the TypeScript basic folder. There, in order to compile this app.ts file, what we are going to do is we are going to type TSC, which stands for TypeScript compiler space the name of the file which we want to compile in our case we want to compile app.ts if i press enter you see we do not have any error and if i go to vs code there you will notice that a new file called app.js has been created okay so the code in this app.ts it has been compiled to a javascript code and that javascript code you can see inside this app.js so currently both the code looks same now let's close this app.js and what we want is in the index.html here we are going to write a script tag and in the script tag we are going to specify the src folder and to that we are going to assign app.js so basically the path of this app.js file now here we are specifying app.js because browsers only understand JavaScript. It does not understand TypeScript. So here to this source, we cannot specify app.ts because if we specify app.ts, TypeScript code will not be understandable to browser. And that's why when we compile our TypeScript code, it gets converted into a JavaScript code and it gives us a JavaScript file with the same name. So here we can assign that javascript file which is coming from the typescript file to this source folder with this if we save the changes you can see hello world logged here now if i go and if i change something in this 
file so instead of hello world let's say this is my first typescript code let's save this file and again in order to convert this code in order to compile this typescript code to javascript again we will have to run tsc command so this tsc stands for typescript compiler and which file do we want to compile we want to compile app.js sorry app.ts we want to compile the typescript file if i press enter the file has been compiled and that compiled code you can also see in app.js let me open the browser also so now you can see in the app.js also we have the same message this is my first typescript code and in the output also you will see this is my first typescript code so it is working as expected so in this lecture we have written a simple typescript code we have simply written a console.log statement but from the next lecture we are going to learn all the basics of typescript and we are going to start with variables in typescript this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day